Hello everyone. Today's video is the CZ P10F 2000 round mark review. So we're going to go through three processes. One is to check out the gun's features, then the shootability of the gun, and finally the wear on the gun. Let's start with the gun review. The magazine, 19 round. You can find those between 32 to 35 bucks, so not too expensive. Very good magazine, by the way, with an orange follower. The magazine well is slightly beveled, so this is a very nice little addition, which allows you to insert the magazine a lot faster and a lot more precise. And the magazine ejection, once you reach the last round is a very positive. Kudos on this one. The magazine, by the way, is like a Swiss cheese. You have the all P10 ejection system, which is changing to a new one, which you have now here. And then this magazine can be used on the P7 and P09 series of CZ scan. Let's move on to the grip. Very aggressive texturing but will not hurt your hand like the previous P10s. Once your hand is on the gun, it's not moving an inch at all. The grip comes with three size backstrap, small, which is there, medium and large, and rarely on the gun, my hand will be able to eject a magazine without moving it. And this can be done on the P10. The magazine eject is very positive and with this new system that CZ put in place you can replace the spring inside the magazine eject to a harder spring or a softer spring as you would like but personally I think it is perfect. Then let's move to the trigger. The trigger is different depending on which gun you handle. So make sure you handle the gun before you buy it. I have found some trigger very greedy and some pretty smooth. This one was pretty smooth. Now it is like on air because, and that's at your own risk, I removed the firing pin safety block. And by doing so, you have absolutely no resistance until you meet the wall. And from there, very clean. And of course, the legendary reset and trigger. The trigger is beautiful. The trigger guard is standard. It's slightly undercut. Then we have the slice stop, which is pretty interesting. On this side, it's pretty hot. But on the lefty side, and this is my weak hand, so not as strong as my right hand, it's a lot easier. Then you have the slide, front serration, rear serration, very aggressive, very positive, very nice sights on the back, that comes with a 90 degree angle cutout, this way if you need to rack it on your belt or your shoe or the door or wherever, it's there. The front sight, which I replaced to a red fiber optic, you can find aftermarket. This gun was shooting a little bit low, so I changed it to a lower front sight, and now it's shooting exactly where I want to, to hit. Then it takes down like a Glock. The inside is very, very lean on parts. Very easy to take down, a few pins, not as easy as the Steyr, which is probably the easiest gun out there, but still, with two different size punches, you are done. Very quick, one part here, one part there. Very few parts, a beauty. And then the inside is very clean. Again, I removed the fire pink block right here. And if you intend to do that, to remove the block or the stopper, be aware that it is very, very difficult to reinstall. So it usually it's a one step to do it and there is no return. But personally, I still think the gun is very safe and. For many, 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 many years, guns did not have that firing pin block and we had no issues. So, 
uh, this is an extra safety that I think might not be automatically necessary. And to put it back together as easy as any other handgun. The shootability of this gun, well, due to a very aggressive grip, your aim does not move. Um, one issue I have sometimes is this is narrow here, like many guns, and so when I start shooting, sometimes my hand will lean against this slice top, either pushing it up, and so after shooting around, it will lock open, or keeping it down, and so on the last round, the slide will not lock open. So I have to be very careful to not touch that slice top. The gun, of course, like any new manufactured gun, are very accurate. If your gun is not accurate, it is probably because of the ammunition. You have to find the right ammo for your handgun. And in my case, I reload my ammo so I find the right gun to fit my ammunition. And this one is one of them. My favorite of all being the CZ 75 SP01 that hits and shoot every one of my reload very accurately. It is the gun I'm, so far I'm going to keep as my competition handgun. But this one is close behind, it's still new, the trigger is a bit different and I still have to learn it a bit more even so after 2000 round. 2000 round is quite a bit but it's also not enough to really be efficient with one handgun. Now let's talk about the wear on the gun. We have some wear on the frame, but that was noticeable right after a few hundred rounds. And so far, after that, I didn't see any more wear on anything. So the wear will happen right away, it's probably just removing the coating and nothing more. On the barrel, which is by the way humongous, or the chamber is humongous on this gun, you will see a little bit of wear, very little on the barrel and a bit more right here, which is absolutely normal. Of course, that is a contact with the barrel, so you will see that wear, wear on all the contact points, and that is it. So very little wear, of course, that gun is very well made, this is expected. And the final question is, is that gun a keeper? Absolutely. I am going to train more and more for competition with that gun. And maybe, and I say maybe, will replace my SP01, but that is a long shot. I will probably keep it, and I really want it to work for competition. And that is it for the review. Until next time, see you guys.